Dark Silence Reviews. Welcome back everyone, this is Dark Silence from Dark Silence Reviews, coming at you with another achievement trophy guide for Deathloop. Uh, this is going to be for the game over achievement. What it's going to require you to do is kill Charlie uh, using the rocket ship. It's a super stealth mission, so keep that in mind. Make sure you have Aether equipped and make sure you, if you have the perk, uh, the Creeping Death, it'll help you out exponentially in this whole entire uh, level. So first, we're going to want to go to Up Down in Noon and start up the mission here and progress through the mission all the way up until you get to this specific part in the back here. Alright, so this is the area that you're going to need to reach in order to get to Charlie uh, if you haven't defeated him yet. And once you pass these doors right here, once you get into the side, you have to go full stealth. Do not get spotted by anybody and do not get uh, detected by anybody. So if you're going to kill somebody, make sure you're sneaking uh, at all times if you don't have the stealth perk. Another thing to bear in mind as well is to keep note of all the batteries. There's quite a few batteries, so you shouldn't have to worry about it. You have to actually put three batteries into the rocket ship and before you can even get the rocket ship, you have to clear out, I would say, the first two floors and not get detected, which is the most important thing. And then the second thing is that on the second floor, coming up these stairs right here, uh, you're going to have to listen in on the conversation in order to unlock the ability to even start up the rocket. So coming up close to the end of this area right here just make sure and be mindful that you have stealth activated because people above the floor and the floor above that one there's four floors so if they're looking down which they do often they're going to hear you or My see you so you need to be really really stealth right here is the conversation you're going to need to unlock in order to actually progress with this achievement or trophy so be mindful of this conversation once it ends it should give you a little notification and you should be good to go Burn them to a crisp as we off, cunning lieutenant. Sir. Notice the little notification came up on the side right here. They talk about the mission. They talk about the rocket ship. So you got the thing activated. From there on, you can continue with your stealth and be mindful of the surrounding area on the floor because the batteries are all going to be aligned on the left and right sides of the level uh, right next to like uh, microphones or little uh, things that they're telling you about the, the game in general. If you go in stealth with the machete, I highly recommend going in like this. It can be a little tedious, but it's the only way to get this mission done, unfortunately. The only floors you need to make sure that nobody hits you on or, or pings you on is the first and second floor. If you can kill all the enemies on the first two floors and then just maybe a one or two on the third floor, you should be able to get to the rocket ship. Then notice the second battery right there on the right. Just be mindful of it right there on the floor. That's the second battery you're going to need. So you're going to have to run up and down to get these batteries, whether you like it or not, uh, as it is needed for the rocket ship. So you can set it up any way you want. Just make sure you bring the batteries up to the top. So this floor is the most dangerous floor. Just be mindful that the people above you can also see you from below. Uh, kill this guy in the middle of this rocket ship. Be mindful of them on the fourth floor because if they look down, they will spot you and they're more delicate than the last two floors. Uh, you're just going to want to come back to this room a couple times to put in the batteries all throughout the level that I was pointing out at the beginning. Uh, there's all kinds of batteries littered about the level, so you won't have to worry about that. I'll give you one example here in the room up to the upper right, just to show you what the batteries look like. So this way you can come back and uh, do it yourself as well throughout the rest of the level. It shouldn't be too hard because you already cleared out the floors along with this guy. A 
coming into this room to the left side over here is going to be your first battery. You're going to need, I believe, three. So make sure you go and put this back in there and use your stealth as much as possible uh, so that you don't get spotted. So long you remember to put your stealth in each time, you shouldn't have any problem with this section. After you activate the final uh, battery that you need, you're going to have to hack this door right here and go talk to the computer. And then he'll have an extra option now that you know about the conversation and that you set up the rocket. So this way you can launch it and you should be able to pop the game over achievement after a little conversation with him. I know this guy was a little longer than most, but I wanted to make sure you got a lot of uh, stealth tips here right. to show you that it's it's clearly possible to do. Uh, once again, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and this helped you out. Happy gaming, everyone. Thank you all for watching. You can continue watching to the end here in order to get your achievement.